Hello everyone. First of all, I would like to give a shout out to one of my newest members. Thank you Raw4n for becoming a member and supporting the channel. Raw4n has a YouTube channel as well. I'll include the link down, down below in the description. You can also check out his channel. Members get perks such as shout outs in my videos as well as being able to see the thumbnail before the video premieres. So let's get started. We have this cubic equation x cubed minus 99x plus 77 equals 0 m, n, and k are non-zero roots and we're supposed to evaluate an expression like this by using Vieta's formulas. So we have m over n plus k plus n over m plus k plus k over m plus n. So m, n, and k are the roots so we can write some relationships. So what are those relationships? First of all the sum of the roots in a cubic equation can be, written, can be written as negative b over a. In this case, b is 0, so m plus n plus k is going to be 0. Now, I'll, I'm going to introduce two different methods here. So let's go ahead and take a look at both methods. And the second relation I can use is mn plus mk plus nk. And as you know, or you should know, this is written as c over a. In this case, a is 1, c is negative 99, so that would be negative 99. And finally, the product of the roots is going to be given by negative d over a, and that is going to be negative 77. So by Vieta's formulas, we have these uh, relationships. Let's go ahead and use them. So I'll make a common denominator. The, the common denominator is basically the product of all these things, so let's go ahead and do the following. Since this is a complicated expression after making a common denominator, let's go ahead and focus on the numerator first. So I will, I will be simplifying the numerator and denominator separately here, okay? So the numerator is going to look like the following. I will have m multiplied by, I will have m multiplied by m plus k, m plus n. And then I'll have n multiplied by n plus k, m plus n. And then finally, k will be multiplied by n plus k, m plus k. Let's go ahead and simplify this first so you don't have to write the fraction every time. So when you distribute this expression, to keep a long story short, you're going to get something like this. m multiplied by m squared plus mn plus km plus kn. And then we're going to get similar terms from here, like n will be multiplied by nm, n squared, km and kn. And then we're going to have the k being multiplied by nm and k, mk, and finally k squared. Now notice that we are getting the same terms here. So some of these terms are going to repeat. So for example, if you look at this carefully, I was going to use that color. We have mn, km, and kn like these. They're just going to repeat, right? So we can basically take out that as a common factor and multiply, since they're being multiplied by m and k, so we have the following. m plus n plus k is being multiplied by m n plus m k plus n k. Okay, so that's the first part. And then what, what is left, we multiply m times m squared, which is m cubed, and then we have n cubed, and then k cubed. Now, this is the numerator. We haven't done the denominator yet, but notice that this relationship gives us that, okay, m plus n plus k is equal to zero. So I could go ahead and use that. Let's substitute. This whole thing is going to be zero. So by numerator, my numerator is going to be this expression right here. m cubed plus n cubed plus k cubed. Let's save it for now and let's go ahead and simplify the denominator. And then we'll put it together and write our, our fraction. And did I tell you that I'm going to introduce two methods? This is the first one. Okay. So in the denominator, we basically have m plus n multiplied by m plus k, and that is multiplied by n plus k. Okay, great. Now, when we distribute this, obviously, we're going to get something like this. Let me go ahead and write that down here because I don't think it's going to fit. We're going to get something like m squared n plus m squared k plus m n k plus m k squared plus m n squared plus m n k. And then we'll have kn squared and nk squared. Okay, so we're supposed to have eight terms here because 2 times 2 times 2 is equal 8. So what you can do is you can distribute these two first and then distribute them m plus n. 
Now, we're going to factor the denominator in a special way. So this is what I'd like to do. Bring some of these terms together. For example, I'd like to pick m squared n, mn squared with an mn k. So if I take out mn as a common factor here, I'll be getting m plus n plus k, right? That's cool. Now, I'll do something similar for m squared k and mk squared and mn k. So that's going to look like mk times the quantity m plus k plus n. So pretty much they are the same thing. But notice that we're, we don't have an mnk here, but no worries, we're going to take care of that. So I'll be taking out kn, or you can write it as nk, doesn't really matter. And this is going to give you n plus k, but I'd like to have an m so that we follow the same pattern. But notice that I'm introducing an extra term, which is mnk, so I have to subtract it. So then the picture will be complete. Now notice that this is a common factor, m plus n plus k. So let's go ahead and take it out. And then from here, we're going to be getting mn plus mk plus nk, or kn, doesn't really matter. Of course, minus mnk. So we kind of got an identity if you ever get something like this, because these problems kind of come up on math competitions sometimes, especially those um, competitions like AMC, and this will be helpful. Anyways, we, we know that m plus n plus k is zero. You see how useful that information is? Because we know that we don't have b here, so we don't have the x squared term, that's why that's zero. So since this is zero, what, what that's supposed to mean? Well, the whole thing is going to be zero. So our denominator is going to be negative mnk. So great. So now I got the numerator. Remember that the num numerator was this one, the sum of cubes, and then denominator is that one. So our expression is going to become then m cubed plus n cubed plus k cubed divided by negative mnk. Of course, we still need to simplify this. Let's find, we're going to find a numerical value, but let's go ahead and look at our identity. I recently uh, did a video on this one. I can also share the link down below. Remember, we had this type of identity and we know that it's factorable. Especially what we know is that this contains a factor of m plus n plus k. We don't really care about the other factor because what happens is m plus n plus k is zero Therefore, this quantity will also be zero, which means that m plus m cubed plus n cubed plus k cubed minus 3 m n k is equal to zero, which means the sum of the cubes can be written as 3 m n k. Great. Now, in this expression, notice that we have the sum of the cubes in the numerator, so we can replace it with 3 m n k, and the bottom is negative m n k. And they cancel out and oops the three doesn't and the answer is going to become negative three so the answer is negative three but let's go ahead and take a look at the second method because the second method is more fun the first method is a little painful why did i introduce that first because no pain no gain so let's go ahead and take a look at this now we know that m plus n plus m plus n plus k is equal to zero and we're trying to evaluate something like this m over n plus k plus n over m plus k plus k over m plus n. Now, what is that supposed to mean? Well, if m, uh, the sum of these three terms is zero, then you can basically say that n plus k is going to equal, m plus k is going to equal negative m. This is going to be negative n, and this is going to be negative k, which gives us negative one plus negative one plus negative one, which is equal to negative three, and this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.